continent. Um, quite addicted to finding music from different places, from different countries. Uh, the more I discover, the more fascinating I am. It's very weird, but somehow when I listen to it, I feel at, at home. I just have a need to celebrate African music and remind people of how important it is or it was for the development of several musical styles that we today listen on the radio. I have a very little collection of African instruments. What I used tonight was only the, the kalimba, actually. I didn't have a teacher for the kalimba, so I was really just searching for patterns that I like. The wonderful thing is that like, I studied like, more the American jazz tradition, but like with Rafael, we have the same link. We listen to the same records. But then he has his whole South African experience, which you can hear in his playing. And this, this is actually wonderful and this is what I appreciate so much working with him. In Switzerland, in Basel, there is this, uh, this exchange program where they invite South African artists to do a residence. They play in the Birdside Jazz Club, they teach at the, at the university. And he did that, and later on he came back quite a couple of times. And six years ago he came with Paul Hanner, the wonderful pianist from Johannesburg. And they needed a rhythm section, so I, they called me because they, they knew that I liked South African music or African music. And so I went there, and it's just a, an experience I I couldn't forget his sound stuck in my ear and in my heart. I was really touched by his playing, by his being. And it grew from there on. We, we made some tours. We made the second album last year. And yeah, that's where we are now. <laughs> 